Welcome to Cuddle Forever number two. Yes, that's my Fruity Pebbles. And cookies. The yellow Oreo cookies. So you guys can see that. Okay. So, I did a stitch. So I'm going to show y'all her video first. Now, I think her name is Mountain Muse. Stop. Okay. So, like I said beforehand, this is, this is a thing that's been happening. So, I'm going to play this, then I'm going to switch to my stitch. And then, um, we're going to get into detail. And I'm going to pour milk in this cereal, and I'm going to eat it. Let's get one of my prima donna spoons. Crush that on in there. And let us begin. So this is the last picture, so I pushed it forward so it can start all over again. Here we go. Matter is a propaganda to keep blacks thinking that they're African Americans that came on slave shit. We already know we are waking our people up to let them know that we are the American and this is Indians. Black Lives Matter do not represent our people. We do. Jesse Jackson do not represent our people. Barack Obama do not represent our people. We're not African Americans. We're indigenous. Our African American is Obama. Why? Because his mother's European and his father's Kenyan. That's an African American. A real Indian. American Indian is me. Both of my parents are American Indians. Not from Africa. Okay, so this is basically a dark-skinned native. More in the Mexican area. But, the, as you guys, if you've been paying attention, you ought to know that, um, that's my stitch, I'm about to drop y'all that in a minute. As y'all know, natives come in multiple colors due to the range of how close or how far they live from the equator, which is why a lot of Alaskan natives are a lot lighter than natives all the way down the western coast and all the way down the eastern coast. And... They have been full-blooded natives and not mixed indigenous like myself, who is also part black, which is why I, better than anybody, should probably be making this video, all right? So now I'm going to show you my stitch, so you're going to hear her talk again, then you're going to see me talk, and then we're not even going to do second part, I'm just going to go right into it with how I feel. If you have my TikTok, you can go watch the second part and you can come in, but don't even waste your time, just stay with me right here and then you can... um. Do the damn thing. So here we go. No, we are waking our people up to let them. Hello. Go watch that before you watch this. This is part one. I, as a person who is both native as well as black, as well as white, um, it's stuff like that that messes up everything for people of color. There are a lot of people on this app right now, and this it, it slowed down a little bit. But it's still happening with the erasure of indigenous people. Okay? So, you know, I'm not on the fence at all. I know my heritage is part native, part black, and part white. And for all medicinal acting purposes, I'm more native in the face. So, here's the thing about that. Natives come in many shades of color. And most of that is due to ecosystem and location. So if you're more of a dark-skinned native versus your gene genealogy, a lot of it has to do with your location. My true color is high yellow, but that is also because I am mixed with two other ethnicities other than Native American. Sorry right? about the dog, y'all. Now I am Native on both sides. I am black on both sides, and I am white on one side or the other, i.e. high yellow. Now, and the funny thing is, my great-grandmother was exceptionally light, like white paper light. And that's on my father's side. My father's father was black. Now, on my mother's side, her father was like white passing. My mom was like a fucking snowball. All right? And all of her siblings have different shades of brown. So, to the young lady dancing around with a feather headdress, first off, uh, not too many native females wore the headdress, so you are fucking up big time there. And they are their things different ways. 
But hey, I'm not full native, so I can't really go too deep into that. But this native erasure with this self-hatred of black culture that we have to erase other heritages, it shit needs to stop. I will make a part two to this, but I just want to get you guys up to speed on where I'm coming from. She is not the first person who has done this, which is why I'm not coming after her. And the other creators that still do this and are doing this, you know, um, there's a lot of self-hatred in the black community. It is. And when I get to part two, possibly part three, I will tell you about it. I might even make a YouTube about this shit later. But Here we are. self-hatred amongst black Americans in general, it is a thing. We're going to talk about that in part two. Thanks for watching. So I'm just going to go ahead and give you guys part two. Just because it needs to be done. Maybe I make a part three? I think I made a part okay. three. Let's talk into... Oh shit, what the hell? Technology, man. It is not this my is thing. This is part two. And this is my second attempt at part two. Please forgive the background noise. A phone call came in from my sibling because she didn't have a phone charger. Anyway, irrelevant. What is relevant is the simple fact that for the better part of a year to six months, there have been a lot of creators who are black who have been um, feeding us people who are black um, some things about natives not being natives and that blacks are the original Native Americans and if we were in the Mexico area or whatever and South America and Peru and all that other stuff. Okay, so I don't want to address this, but I have to. And I'm going to get a lot of flack from people who are black. Somewhere in our history of people who were black, we have started to hate ourselves. All right? And a lot of us don't want to be black. I get it. Being mixed, I only wanted to be black until I found out that black people didn't want me. And then I found out that white people didn't want me. And truth be told, a lot of natives didn't want me either. So I'm a walking abomination to some people. And the reason why I said it that way is because that's how they made me feel. Now, in the original video that I deleted it was the phone call, I spoke to saying that when I was in high school, I had met three Africans. Two of them did not like me, and one of them did. And then as life went on, I met three more Africans, excuse me, four more Africans. Two of them liked me, and two of them did not. And this was at the university, UVA. So they worked there. One of them worked with me in the restaurant. The other one worked in the media center. But the other two worked in the media center. And the only reason they dealt with me and they told me this in my face is because they liked Bruce. Because Bruce was black. I explained to them that I'm mixed with black. And they looked at me and said, well, we only tolerate you for Bruce, but we don't really like you or black people in general. Like people. So, there's a part three. In my adventures in life, I learned that a lot of Africans, not the majority, but a lot, didn't like black people. Now, I thought that shit was a myth. I really did. And then I met some um, blacks on the wheelchair basketball team. It was like from Trinidad and Tobago. And I met some black Jamaicans who literally told me the same shit. It's like Africans just don't like anybody who's not from Africa. Now, again, that's a small, a small, 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 small minority amount. Because I've met some Africans that are from Africa that really love everybody. And they have no racism in them. So let's just make it like a, it, even smaller than a minority about, it's like a bunch of, it's a cluster, just a little cluster. And these um, other Africans that love black people and know that we have African roots, somehow in America, there are a lot of people who are black who hate our African roots. And I'm not fucking innocent. If there have been times where black people have hated me and made me hate wanting to be black, and that was a part of my childhood. And there are times where I only had two residents where natives that made me not want to be native. And then I know that I will never be white. That's not even remotely close to an option. 
but I have heard you got a white mama one time too many in my childhood. Anyway, this isn't about me, this is about indigenous racial. So what I'm going to do, because we only have like three minutes, I'm going to make a indigenous erasure YouTube tonight. Hopefully it won't air by tomorrow or whatever. But if you don't know where Kung Fu Avenue number two is, um, put a comment that you don't know and I'll put the thing on. But anyway, the bottom line is that a lot of black people have self-hatred towards being black. And like I said, I'm guilty of it. But it was because of other black people. It's kind of hard to grow up and hear you'll never be good enough for black women. And then the flip side, when you don't date black women. You don't need to go any further details on that. The fuck? I don't know what the hell just happened here. What's going on? I'll take that out before I go to sleep. Anyway, as I finish whooping down these um, feety pebbles, I went into a tangent of shit that doesn't really count. So, sorry about that. But, it does help to know that there's a lot of black people that suffer from self-hatred. Which is how we got here. Before you say, let's not have to do anything. Everything. Understand it has everything to do with it because of the simple fact this black creators doing the indigenous eraser. You are probably all thinking, What? Is that about black creators getting rid of indigenous people? Well, it's an unfortunate truth and also an unfortunate side effect that this has been happening. Which also means if you're just hearing about this now, you either don't have a TikTok account, uh. excuse me, or you're just not on the indigenous side of TikTok. Okay? Now let me find my Alka Seltzer and we can begin. Yeah, I gotta do better at organizing my shit. Homework. Out. back. This back. And put this back. So you need a couple of these for my nose because it's running. Sorry, y'all. Things happen. Also, should probably not do this. This isn't water, it's actually the first bottle of Gatorade. Just to know, you know, and it's also lemon flavored Alka Seltzer. I know, I know. Off topic, off topic. That's for my emergency for when my stomach started hurting tonight. So, got that out of the way. Make sure my nose is clean and we're good to go. All right. So, between eight months, almost a year ago, this indigenous erasure shit started. And again, if you have TikTok, uh, Murphy has addressed it. I don't know if you guys know Murphy. If you don't know Murphy, he's on TikTok. Young black man, wears glasses. Can't give you anything else because all I know is his name is Murphy. So, I call him Murphy's Law. But anyway, he's a student of some sort of whatever, and he's like a really young guy. He's had lots of debates about um, black people thinking that they are indigenous or Israelites or whatever and that's a little bit above my pay grade. However, a lot of indigenous people that I follow have also come after people 
who aren't indigenous but are wearing the headdress and wearing the feathers and doing all kinds, not just the headdress, there's other feathers that they like wear on their arms and other things and they do all the ceremonial dances but they're not native. So a lot of the creators that have been doing this have unfortunately been black. And I know you're all going to think, well, now, James, you're being biased because you're part black and part native. So you're picking your native side over your black side. Okay, well, let, let's um, keep that in mind as um, a lot of my racism has happened from my black side to me, especially as a child. So if you think I'm being biased, you're probably right, but I'm being honest, too. And if being honest means I'm being biased, then I just be biased. But the bottom line is really quite simple. See, as a person who is of both ethnicities, it is not right to try to overshadow or whitewash some shit because you want it to be true versus some shit that is true. You know what I'm saying? Because here, I'm part Native, I'm part Black, I'm part White. When I went to Ancestry.com, I am a white man. Like, 75% I am a white man. By genetics. Alright? I don't have it, but I have it on the computer. They want me to pay them money that I don't have for them to do more history of my MG indigeneity. Where I have some black. They have me on one or another coast of Africa. And a lot of America. But they can't find my native DNA. I'm like, well, that's not possible because we have my great-grandmother who was Native. We have my grandmother, and then you have my father and my mother who are both half-breeds. There should be some Native DNA in me somewhere because you can also tell by my facial structure that I am also part Native, All right? So that being said, something's not right, and I'm not saying ancestry is bullshit. I'm just saying, hey, you know, y'all y'all might want to run that again. Might want to run it a couple of more times. Because there's got to be some in there somewhere. So now I have to do a genealogy test. And I also have to do a blood quantum test. Well, first and foremost, we're going to do a sample test right here. Hey Google, what is the most common blood type for Native Americans? Major ABO blood alleles are found in most populations worldwide, whereas the majority of Native Americans are nearly exclusively in the O group. She said, Oh, right? I just want you guys to be able to read this shit. That's backwards. Sorry. What's that say? O positive. So now they got me questioning because I, the computer Google just told you that most Native Americans are in the O group. I am O positive. What's going on, Ancestry? Which is why I said, you know, um, I could be the anomaly. I could be the anomaly. I can look at that. But Google just confirmed that most Native Americans are in the O group. So either O negative or O, ne o positive, because that's all you have, positive or negative, when it comes to your blood. Now let's get back on topic about this indigenous eraser shit. Because this is very important. It's important to me because I have two dogs in the fight. Alright? I have two dogs in the fight because I am part black. And I am part native. Alright? So something has got to be solved with this problem. Let's just go ahead and get rid of this damn thing. Anyway. If, if, you, if you want to weigh the pros and cons... I feel more native than black, but I've always felt more native than black since um, that ass whooping I got from my mom when I carved up like six or seventeen bars of fucking soap. Anyway, I can't carve a canoe to save my life. 
we know this now. We've known this for some time, that whatever native I come from, they couldn't carve shit either. <laughs> and I'm the only one that's genetically afraid of horses. It's just big boom there, I'm afraid of horses. I'm literally fucking afraid of horses. Dreadfully afraid of horses. Now, for the black side, you know, I'm not ashamed to have black blood. Until somebody black does something stupid. If you guys remember when I first started doing this second YouTube channel, I would do martial arts, martial arts, martial arts, and then something would happen that was racially charged, and I started doing racial shit. So, in case you guys forgot, let's go with the first and only native problem that I've had to do. And that was Miss Rainbird. And she was the lady who was high and drove her RV through downtown Los Angeles fucking shit up and had kidnapped two dogs. I don't know if she kidnapped two dogs. But the way the news report, I have the clip on this channel somewhere. And I said, these are the days where being mixed comes in best for me. Because... I don't have to be Native American today. Today I can be black. And I used to do that. And then when somebody black did it, I was like, I don't have to be black today. Today I can be Native. And yes, I did do that. I own that shit because I did it. There, there's video proof of me actually doing it. And then when somebody white does something, I was like, well, I'm so glad that my skin tone is brown because I don't have to wear it like, because I'm never going to be white. Never in the history will I be white, at least skin tone wise. Now, if you ask 23 and me, because I need to contact them, what they're going to come up with versus ancestry DNA. Because DNA from ancestry said that I am a white man. I am 75% a white man. So the other 30% is everything else but white. Okay? Which again, by looking at my face, you'll be thinking, hmm, yeah, they may want to retake that test, buddy. Anyway, so we got that out of the way. Now, indigenous erasure is the actual erasure of indigenous things, which means you're taking a culture and hurling it over your shoulder and saying, land where you may, your culture is ours today. So there have been a lot of black creators on TikTok saying that the original Mayans, Incans, Aztecs, and Amazon Indians, and a couple of more, are not native, were never native, and they've always been black people. And they use the Easter Island statues and other statues, and as you saw those pictures of those dark um, Mexican natives, as their picture of being black, saying that the so-called black American was never descendants of slaves, that we were descendants of indigenous blacks to America. The problem is science. All right, so let's go ahead and get this out the way. No matter what ethnicity you are, life began in fucking Africa. Okay, they have scientifically proven that. They've been trying to scientifically unproven it for the last 200 plus years, but they have scientifically proven that earliest man was found in Africa. And then if you go into like biblical shit about the Caucasus Mountains and shit that's above my pay grade because I have no idea what the fuck the Caucasus Mountains is, I can't say anything about that. But all life began in Africa. There are many stories of how all life began in Africa and everybody was dark and they started branching off. But when the white Africans showed up, they sent them off towards the European way. While the natives went through Asia, some stayed, some left, but the natives were the biggest nomads, etc., etc. Now the problem with that is, science is constantly being debunked. Right? However, you can't really debunk facial structure, all right? Natives have Asian facial features. So, um, you have to question yourself. Now, I've done this before and I'll do it again. I have a friend, his last name is Kim. He was the son of a preacher. We were in college together. And when we first met, I was working out with a bow staff and he popped this little Korean ass out of nowhere and I thought we were gonna fight because at the time, there was rumors going around of, um, Asian martial artists beating up non-Asian martial artists. Now, I don't know how much of it was true, but I knew it was a rumor going around. And so when he came up, I swung that damn bow staff around ready to fight. He's like, nope, I'm not here to fight you. I just wanted to know who you were and what you were. And I was like, oh, well, we had our introduction. Hello, Mr. Kim. I'm Mr. Williams. Nice to meet you. And he goes, so, you mixed? And I was like, yeah. 
He was like, okay, well, what do you mix with? I was like, oh, that's easy. I'm Native American, black and white. And he was like, oh. He was like, well, you know, Native Americans are from Asia. And I was like, no, Native Americans have always been here in America. He said, no, I got some bad news for you, son. You're not from Asia. I mean, from America, you guys are from Asia and came to America. I said, if that's the case, no, we're from Atlantis. Don't laugh. I used to believe that Native Americans were from Atlantis. All right? You can laugh now. So anyway, he went to the library, and he proved me wrong. Talked about the land bridge and all this other shit. So if that doesn't confuse you now, they're saying that um, Natives were always here, and they didn't cross the land bridge, but Natives have Asian features. You guys de decide what you want with that. Decide what you want, because I was always told, there's a land bridge. All Natives eventually started from one tribe and then splintered off. Some stayed and became Eskimos. Some wandered this way towards America and Canada, and some went to Russia, which has those natives that you see me following with the funny um, musical instruments. But they're still natives. But they are all of indigenous Native American descent. I am not a scientist. I can't explain that shit to you. But anyway, so these indigenous eraser people are trying to say that natives were not here. But see, the problem is only the first generation of natives were not from America. This is the way I deduced it. And every generation after the first generation has settled, which was like 10,000 years or so before the Europeans even got here. And right about the time a uh, Chinese man discovered America and went back, and I guess he couldn't find his way back, and then um, they say Africans did come here, but they weren't indigenous to here. All right? So there's a lot of fucking shit going on in the world of fuckery. And I'm going to tell you right now, there is a lot of indigenous eraser, and they are saying that the original Mexicans were black, that the original South Americans were black, and that they were never, ever in Africa, which I just said five minutes ago, that life all began in Africa and everybody splintered off. And supposedly climate change shaped our faces and changed our bloods and our noses and everything. Because where the air got thin, you have bigger noses. Where the air got not so thin, you have smaller noses because you don't have to fight to get the air in your body. And being that I'm mixed, I have a fairly decent sized nose. And in fact, my nose is probably the favorite part of my face because it didn't get burned off. But there's still a scar there from like... I guess it didn't really heal. Because you know, I'm pretty sure that's where the scar came from. If not, then it came from something else. But it's right there. You probably can't see it, which is good. If you can't see it, I'm great. But if you can't see it, it's there. I know it's there. I have to see it every day. But anyway, the fact of the matter is that there are a lot of black creators on TikTok getting rid of indigenous stuff. And they're saying that, um, you know, the pyramids, the Mayan pyramids are different from the Egyptian pyramids and the indigenous Mayans, Aztecs, Incans, there's a couple more tribes didn't exist because all of them were black people. And then you saw the lady with the feathers. You will assume to um, figure out what you want to assume, but I'm here to just let you guys know that this is what's going on. on TikTok, there was a lot of of indigenous erasure. Now, here's the thing. There are mixed natives, like me, who's part black and part native, who have two dogs in the fight. I don't want my two cultures to clash. But here's the thing on that, and I'm going to tell you a story, and you're not going to like it because it's going to be a true story. As a mixed person, I have been rejected by all of my cultures. White culture, black culture, native culture. Unfortunately, black culture is the one that treated me the worst. White culture has been questionable, and I had two incidents with native culture, where I've been told that I wasn't pure blood. And yeah, I wanted to roll those two dudes in wheelchairs, one down the hill, and one into oncoming traffic. Yes, I know that's wrong, but you weren't 23-year-old me trying to um, sweet-talk your way into a relationship with a very beautiful native girl only to have her uncles come and tell you that you're not pure. We don't want pure 
natives mixing with mixed natives. And I'm like, well, y'all act like I had a fucking choice in that, which I didn't, you know. But the way they spoke to me, let's just say, had they been able to walk, they would have needed those chairs permanently because I was going to um, rearrange their cavities of body so that they would need those chairs forever. Now, I don't know if they could get out those chairs or not, but I do know that the middle son was the one I threatened to roll into the street. The son under him was the first one to approach me to tell me to keep away from his niece. He was the one I was going to roll down the hill after I sabotaged his fucking brakes on his wheelchair. There's a garage there now. This was at the Jefferson School. So, um, I'm not an evil person most of the time. But that was a, uh, an honor strike, and both of these gentlemen needed it. But they were the only two Native Americans that have ever given me a fucking problem. Now, as far as white people, I haven't had too many white issues when it came to me being part Native, except for that one fucking guy. That one fucking guy. I hope he's still alive. But I was working at Kegler's, and for three years, every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, hey, Chief, what's up, Chief? How's it going, Chief? That shit got on my nerve. Because Chief, at the time, was equivalent to the N-word. And I guess I didn't look black enough to him, so he decided that I was Chief. And the more I told him not to call me Chief, it's like, look, dude, please don't call me Chief. My name is James. Please call me my name. Do not. This is before I became Echo. And I was like, you need to call me James. Please call me James. And this motherfucker would not call me by my name to save my life. And I'm sorry for swearing, y'all. I'm working on my mouth. For this video, um, you have to forgive me for swearing, especially since we're 30 minutes in. But um, the, it hurt my feelings because he wasn't a bad guy, but I couldn't tell if he was being racist or just being a jerk or just being a dick, whatever. Because, you know, how many times have you asked somebody to respect you enough to call you by your name? Now, before we go any further, this is why I don't use pronouns. All right. So if anybody's from the alphabet community and you're upset with me because I will not call you by pronouns, this is why. Because this dude kept calling me chief. I am not the chief. If anything, I'm a scout, but I am definitely not the chief. I am not full-blooded native, and I have a fucking name. Now it's Echo, but at the time it was James, and all I needed was for him to call me my name. He didn't have to go... Hey, Chief. Hi, Chief. How you doing, Chief? What's up, Chief? Any possible greeting with the word Chief on the end is what he did to me for three years. So if you are mad at me because I don't address you him, he, him, her, she, her, however that shit goes, well, now you know why. Because I'm a Generation X and we fought against labels. We fought not to be called by no goddamn labels. I had a fucking name. You know? You weren't going to call me Chief. You were going to call me by my fucking name. And that's the bottom line. Well, that never happened. Now, if you take it back to my childhood, where all black people were kept calling me half-breed, I got tired of being called half-breed. 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 And then when we found out that I was more than just black and white, that I was part native, the shit hit the fan with the, um, with the racism. Now, mind you, I've been the victim of racism since the second grade. I would say the first grade, but you don't really know who you are in the first grade. You both you start finding yourself somewhere between the second and third grade. That's when you find out who you are and what you're made of. So in about the second grade is when I started having all kinds of fucking problems. And also, if my mom came to school, you know how many times I've heard, hey, James, you got a white mama. Like in the middle of the day for no reason. If no one's around, hey James, you got a white mama. Not be all furious, like, she's not fucking white. And everybody like, yeah, she is. Yeah, she is. She's whiter than my mama. She's white. She's white. She's got a white mama. This would carry on to the third grade, to the fourth grade, to the fourth grade, because I fell the fourth grade, to the fifth grade, to the sixth grade. It, back in the fifth grade, though, is when they found out I was part native. So now, I didn't hear any chief jokes, but the half-breed was the only thing they could really call me because they didn't know how to call us multicultural people, or multi-ethnic, or multi-racial. It was just half-breed. And I got so sick of that shit. So if anybody's in the LBGTQA plus something 
forgive me. If anybody in the Alphabet Squad wants to know why I refuse to give you pronouns, now you know. Because I was labeled half-breed for the bulk of my life. I'm not going to put you through that by calling you an inanimated object or a verb, especially if I know your name. Back to the indigenous eraser. I just had to add that in there. It is, um, it is a shame when, you know, you don't like yourself enough that you want to be what they call a race trader. Well, here's the thing. I can't trade races because I'm all three of the American races. I am white, I am black, I am native. When people often ask me, I do that in the opposite. I am native, I am black, I am white. But if I have to go in alphabetical order, I could always go, I'm American Indian, I am black, I am white. Or I can go, I am black, I am native, I am white. But then, when you look at me, you're going to be like, are you sure? Why do I say that? Because indigenous erasure. There are a lot of people who are on TikTok that are black, saying that they are indigenous to America. Which, if you were born in America, at this point in time, yeah, you are fucking American. So, of course, you're fucking indigenous to America. But you're not indigenous by race to America. By blood race is what I mean. You know, you're not a Native American or an American Indian. You're just Native American because you were born in America. You know, that makes sense. Let's try that again. I'm sure it didn't make sense, so we're going to reword that shit. If you are a natural American, which means you were born here and you were black, white, or Asian, you are a natural American. If you are an American Indian or an indigenous American, that means you come from the people who were already here before the Europeans and the slave trade happened. My ancestors are from all three of those things. As I said, I am native, I am black, I am white. But before I said it, I am black, I am native, I am white. Or I am black, I am white, I am native. Now, if you want to go, because I come from the go-to tribe of Cherokee, if you wanted to go in alphabetical order, I'd have to say, I am black, I am Cherokee, I am white. A lot of white, if you go by ancestry DNA. A lot of fucking white. Like, 75% white, which I'm like... How the fuck does this work? But anyway, moving on. Indigenous erasure is where... Alright, so... It's a Hello Kitty right here. And y'all already know what my panda looks like. So, if I was to say that Hello Kitty was to take the place of a panda, and Hello Kitty is supposed to be a little girl from England living in Japan, where... I don't know why she has to look like a cat, but hey, I didn't draw a story. This panda here is a natural animal to China. Not anywhere else in the world, just to China. Just like the koala bear is a natural animal to Australia. Where in America, we have bears, but we have deer. Now here's where you get fucked up. Almost every country has deer. In Chile, they have a different type of deer that they call chinos. All right? In Africa, they have a deer called the antelope, I think that's what it's called. Let's find out. Because I'm, I'm like, fuck it up. What is the African deer called? According to Storyteller Travel, the only deer native to Africa is the Barbary stag. At one point, there were two species of deer in Africa. The Megasoroides algericus went extinct millennia ago. Now, the only living deer that is native to Africa is the Barbary stag. Well, that's new to me, because I thought it was a fucking antelope. Where does the antelope come from? According to home, San Diego Zoo Animals and Plants, San Diego Zoo. The majority of antelope are native to Africa, but there are some living in the Middle East and Asia. Let's get an image of that antelope. So that's an antelope. And this is all your pictures of antelopes. Now the reason why I brought that up is because Native Americans usually just hunt deer. 
This little white one really got a butt face. I'm sorry, that was like a reflex. What are the deers called in South America? What is the deer called in South America? According to Scientific American blogs, these include the marsh deer Blastoceros dichotomus, Pampas deer Ozotoceros bezorticus, the highland dwelling Andean deer or humuls or guemuls, the forest dwelling brockets, and the tiny puttus. Where's the Chino? Here is a map of Chino, California. Where's the Chino animal? Well, that gives it an animal hospital. Okay. Anyway, at one point in time, there was a deer in South America called a fucking Chino. Anyway, because I know this because there was a um, comedian, not Margaret Cho, because she talked about Chinos, but they were the pants. There was a comedian that um, got hit by a Chino. He said he was driving his car and he hit a Chino. And I was like, what the fuck is that? And they're like, if you pay attention to the show, Chino's a fucking deer. I know, you're thinking, what does this have to do with indigenous erasure? So, let's get back to that. Mexicans are indigenous to America. Because before Mexico was bordered and Texas became a small part of what used to be all of Mexico, all of the Mexicans lived in Texas, all the way down to Central America and some in South America. So, they got rid of that. And... Here goes those black creators, Incan, Aztec, Mayan. Those are the biggest um, Mexican, I believe, tribes were supposedly turned from Mexican Indians to blacks. Okay? And then they started popping up on TikTok. Start pulling up all these fucking maps and all these damn things on South America and Central America and a couple of places in North America, basically Texas, and said that these were the original indigenous people saying that they were black and that black people weren't from Africa, that they were from America. And this goes back to the story on TikTok about self-hate. So this is why I said this video is going to be a long one, at least an hour or two. Self-hate. Um, I tell you this story in my TikTok, so I'll go ahead and give you a refresher course. I met a few Africans in high school who, um, for the life of me, did not like me at all. And straight told me that if I went to Africa, someone would blow my brains out because I am a half-breed. And that was two Africans that said that. The third African that was in our school didn't say that. He said, eh, it's not that bad. You probably won't get shot in the head. You might get shot in the leg, but you won't get shot in the head. He was joking. You probably won't get shot at all. But the, the African that was telling me that I would be, his hair was curly like mine. He was like, well, you can't be full African. You have to have white in you to have all that curly hair. He said, no, I'm full African. And I'm like, okay. Well, in America, if you are the color of brown and your hair is curly like mine, you ain't full African. Now, the other African that liked me, he had African-based hair. All right, jump a few years into college, and I'm making a movie. Um, I think it was like Fallen Dragons or something. And um, there's two Africans. There's three of them working with Bruce at the UVA Center where they make films or whatever. And two of them don't like me. I forget their names. One's a girl. One's a guy. They have like dreadlocks and shit. And the one guy that does like me, his name is Tubu. And then the a the African that I work with named Yoko worked with me at the restaurant. Now, those two Africans, they like me. The other two Africans didn't. So, if you're up to speed, three in high school, two like me. Four in college, two like me, two didn't. All right? So, I got four Africans that don't like me. I got three Africans that do. All right? And then I thought this was a myth. The Africans didn't like black people until I went to um, wheelchair basketball team. We went to Canada and we talked to the African team. They wasn't from Africa because they were from Trinidad and Tobago. But we got to talk about Africans and they said Africans don't like them. Africans don't like Jamaicans. I was like, but all of us are descendants of African slaves. It's like, 
doesn't fucking matter. If you're not from Africa, Africa don't like you. And I'm like, okay. But like I said, it's this much. Because every African that I've met outside of the four that I mentioned they couldn't stand me, we get along fucking great. And they like me and they treat me like I'm a human being. I understand that? So it's like a really small number. Now I know what you're thinking. What does this have to do with indigenous erasure? We're going to spin that right back around right now. So 20% of the people doing indigenous erasure are black people on um, the TikTok. And they are really digging in their heels about how black people are from Mexico and all the South Americans and all the Amazons are all black people. And I'm like, you know what, man? If y'all knew how y'all sound, y'all stop. But it's generally just the black creators who don't want to be black. And you know, here's the thing. I get it. Because I was the opposite. I was the opposite. I wanted to be black so bad. It's also why I cussed so much because I couldn't be black enough. So I had to start talking black. I had to start acting black. I had to start having an attitude and all this other shit. Lots of those things got my ass beat. But we didn't ever use the N-word before we moved out of the projects. We didn't do any of that shit. We might have swore a lot, but my uncles and them, you know, go ahead and say it. Go ahead and say it. And I'd go ahead and say it. You know, and on both sides of my family, I come from a family of people who just swear way too much. Sometimes they swear so much they don't even realize they're swearing while they're talking. And I have been working on my problems so that I don't swear when I'm talking. But these creators on TikTok are doing everything they can to prove that black people did not come from Africa. And that only certain black people are descendants of slaves, while the other black people were indigenous to this land in the first place. And I said, yeah, you understand how racism works, right? Because even if you weren't a descendant of a slave, per se, if your ancestor was of color back then, I'm pretty sure they were probably in slavery at some point, at some time, because most black people in America, unless you immigrate from Africa or from um, Jamaica or from Trinidad or from DG Islands, your ancestors are a goddamn slave. My ancestors were probably slaves. I'm pretty sure they were. And I don't want to hear the N-word or the house N-word, etc., etc. No. If you are an American and you are of black descent, born and bred here, you are black and you are probably the descendant of slaves. Now, there is a difference between African Americans and black people. A lot of people want to call us one the same, but we're not because true African Americans immigrate from Africa to America, making them African Americans. Same thing with Jamaican Americans, same thing with Trinidad Tobago Americans, where the rest of us African Americans are black. And being called black is not a bad word. And this is the thing that people seem to understand or don't understand. I do not call myself an African American. I call myself a black American when I fill out a job. But I also have been told, are you sure? And I was like, well, I'm actually mixed, but my birth certificate says black, so I'll put down black just so that you don't fire me. Because in Virginia, if you lie on your application, even if it's a little white lie, you can still be fired. So why put yourself through that when you might actually like the job that you're doing? So anyway, a lot of the black creators have a lot of hatred towards being black. And, you know, I understand because I have a lot of hatred towards being black, too. Because I was always told by black people, you're not black enough. You'll never be black enough. You're not good enough for black people. So, I favor more native shit because of rejection from black people. This video is going all over the place, I know. But the fact of the matter is, a lot of black people hate being black. They don't want ties with Africa. But they don't want to be called black, so they decide that they're going to be indigenous and they're going to cut off any ties of Africa connected to black people. And they're going to say, well, we blacks are the original indigenous people. It was us. It was us. It was us. And like I said, for TikTok, it has slowed down. It has tremendously slowed down. There's not too many of them doing it. But every now and again, a little bunny pops his head out the hole and says, we have black people 
by the original people. And little Debbie should give me a job because I'm about to eat all these little Debbie cakes. I have to keep my weight down, but it's after midnight and I can use a snack. In fact, it's almost 1 a.m. I probably shouldn't be eating this because I'm probably going to toss and turn all night because you shouldn't have a bunch of sugar before you go to sleep. Right? Who cares? Nobody cares. Nobody. Well, I started talking about how Black Sport were the original people, and they started talking about how um, you can prove it. Yet, they don't have a lot of proof. It's tangible. Which starts arguments. Which starts more controversial problems on the TikTok. You know, and that's the thing, you know, you're fighting over something that you don't have a lot of proof to. And then on the flip side, the black people are arguing back with, but we do have proof. Look at all these statues. Look at how they have black people noses. Look at their skin tone. I don't remember when, but at some point in this video, I explained that natives have different skin tones depending on um, tribal location. And by tribal location, I mean where is that tribe located? For those who are behind the eight ball, there was over. 2,000 traps here before the Europeans got here. And their locations was all over what natives called Turtle Island, the rest of us called the United States, and then South America. Now, see me, I just call it America. Because I wasn't aware that Turtle Island was a thing. When I got made aware that Turtle Island was a thing, I started um, doing stuff like what we're about to do. Picture of Turtle Island. Pictures of Turtle Island. Uh, that's not the right Turtle Island, but okay. Let's try that again. Pictures of America known as Turtle Island. Pictures of United States. Sure. Okay, I can't show you guys the goddamn picture because it's not showing the one that I was shown. So, anyway. It's supposed to show you a graph of America looking like a freaking turtle. Okay, let me see if this image will do. No, it will not. Is um, is it giving me anything but that? But um, you guys can probably find it better than I can. So, I think this might be it. So that one right there in the corner, right there. That's one of the ones I found a long time ago when I asked, and now Google be tripping and won't show me the actual one I was looking for, because Google is not my friend. But anyway, I can't find the one that I found many, many times ago. Anyway, whatever, it doesn't matter. Natives refer to America as Turtle Island. Okay? Which means the Left foot is Hawaii, and the ass in the Florida is the right hind leg, and then the tail going down to South America is the tail. And then everything from the top of Canada to America is the other arms and legs 
of the turtle. Uh, again, indigenous erasure, the thing with it is that you can't unchange some people's minds. Got that established? This is just as bad as the flat earth argument, which we're not going to have here, but, you know, for the most part, Total Island is what the natives refer to as, um, they refer to as, what the hell is this? Sorry, something on my phone looks strange. They refer to America itself as Total Island. Okay, why do I have a picture of me? You know what? We're just going to close this out and we start this damn phone. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm super distracted. So I'm going to have it in this video before I get any worse than what I was doing this whole entire time. So, a lot of the black creators are pretty much saying that Native Americans don't exist, that Native Americans this, Native Americans that, and that the real Native Americans are black people. They are neglecting the fact that um, most black people, for the fact, came from Africa. And this is where I turn science into fact. Because science has proven yet again that life began, all life, regardless of where you are, all of our ancestors came out of Africa. Now, if you want to get into like super science and pseudoscience and genealogy, that's above my pay grade. But they did say that only the female who is black produces women of other ethnicities, which means white and Asian and even native are all produced from the black genes. So... Um, this is another reason why they say when you, um, when you have a baby with somebody of a different ethnicity or a different race, um, whichever is the permanent or the dominant gene is what the child is going to look like. And supposedly, natives, Asians, and blacks have the more dominant gene than the average white gene. So, I guess if you look at it, the white gene was more of a mutation, I guess. I don't know. I'm not a scientist, man. Don't have me pull some X-Men shit out of my ass because that's not going to work. But the fact of the matter is that there are a lot of people of color and by people of color, specifically black people who are doing this indigenous eraser shit. And if you're trying to do that, you should probably stop. I want to end this video on a good note, but it's hard to end the video on a good note when I went all over the place and I'm sorry for that. But the fact of the matter is there are tons of people on TikTok that are saying... Half of my people aren't native, where the other half, blacks, are all natives, when we all know that the slave trade happened. So you guys kind of formulate yourselves and let me know what you think. But to be honest, I mean, it is, um, it is incomprehensible that we can't convince people that one, Mexicans are indigenous. Two, mixed people are not an abomination. We are here to stay. And three, why do we have so much self-hatred for the blacks in the black community by blacks that we will do anything we can to not be identified as black? Hope you guys sleep on that. I'm Echo Fan Grey Wolf. This is Comfort Heaven number two. Be seeing you.